Hello everyone and welcome back to some Frostfire Feed the Beast. It's been a while since I uh, did this series, but now it's back with some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that the series is going to end shortly because the server is going to be closed. In fact, by the time this video is up, the server will probably already be shut down. But I am going to get five more episodes, trying to round out at 15 before I end the series. And don't worry about the server shutting down, it's going to be replaced by a different server, which I may or may not be a part of, it's too early to tell, but we'll see. As for the good news, the series is back, and there are going to be five more episodes. Uh, if you look in my little chest here, you'll see some stuff I have planned. We still have the ancient staff to go to Promised Land, but Purple couldn't join me for this episode, so we're going to hold off on that, and we also have this, which I'm going to save, I think, for the last episode. So, for this episode, I just want to summarize some of the stuff that's been going on off-camera, because we have been working on this, or at least I have been working on this, since uh, the last episode, and yeah, this base is more or less the same. I did finally uh, sort out the energy problem over here, though, because every time we kind of forget to leave the power on, we should have a good bit of lava, and I ended up just removing the chunk loader. So that should have fixed our energy problems with it draining while we weren't around, because we didn't really do that much offline anyway. Yeah. So if I head over here, uh, I've removed the underwater area, and... Some of this stuff around here, and yeah, pretty much uh, this base is more or less done. I didn't really finish it, but I don't really have time to finish it, considering that the server will be closed and I don't have that much time to do off-camera stuff. But still, uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's just mostly empty at the moment. I didn't do really anything up here. I th Oh, this one goes down, not up. Oh, and apparently I left the exposed wire in. Yay! I didn't even know that. <laughs> so yeah, if you come down here though, here's the main room. It's still empty. I was going to put like machines in the walls, but not going to now. And uh, up top at the farms, I don't think I actually did anything. In fact, I kind of forgot this whole area existed till I started filming just now. But over here you have my room. I, I didn't really do anything with it. <laughs> Down here, I don't know, I think this was going to be like the boiler room or something, because I did want to get that steam power, but once again, another thing I probably won't have time for. And that was the hole down to the old mines when this was the old base. If we go down again, you'll see the giant chasm down here. So yeah, and uh, let's head back up. And here's uh, Purple's room. I'm not sure if I ever showed you, but Purple did make this thing back here, which I kind of connected his room to. That's a fake block, by the way. So yeah, he made this little trophy room that was hidden under here. And he's been working on it, and I put an oil tank in here from our little quarry incident. And here's where we've been putting all our useless portal guns and some turrets. And yeah. And this is also where he apparently put his Thomcraft stuff, because he's been working on Thomcraft. So you may be wondering, what have I been working so hard on? Well, here are the three rooms I have been putting a lot of effort into. Ta-da! The Ars Magician room. I didn't have enough Chimerite for the roof, but besides that, the room is pretty much done. I was just kind of getting everything situated in here, although I don't see us using Ars Magician much more for the series, unfortunately. And I still have the Ender Affinity, but once again, it's one of those time things where I just want to spend the last episodes doing fun stuff, and I don't want to do a whole bunch of off-camera stuff that was boring and would take a bunch of time. So I don't think we're actually going to get to use much of these rooms or more of Ars Magician, but yeah. This one I just finished, and hopefully the roof's still- yes, the roof's still there. I originally tried witchwood leaves, and they decayed, despite the fact I placed them. Yeah. But this is the enchant room. I decided since I didn't do the whole, uh, hidden grotto kind of theme for the Ars Magicia, I'd do it for the enchant room instead. And, yeah, I just pretty much put all this stuff down before I started this episode, so it's still missing a lot of stuff that's still in the other base. And this is the Thomcraft room, which currently isn't in use, but I think it looks really cool. I really do love this nether block from Railcraft. It just has such a nice texture. But, yeah. And I didn't get the access terminal in the other, uh, the enchantment room either. There's a lot of stuff I didn't get around to. And over here, I didn't finish with the Tinker's room. I didn't really do much down here yet. It's still just kind of what's left over. And the enchantment room over here is still more or less the enchantment room. I did kind of have plans to make this like a industrial craft room. This would be, uh... Blast furnaces, coke ovens, and the tinker stuff. And I did want to make this a 
epic cobble generation room, like auto crafting to get super high quantities of the compressed cobblestone, but I didn't get around to it. And yeah. But there is one thing I would like to do this episode, and uh, that is something we've been planning to put at the top of the volcano for a while. I found these when we were in the Twilight Forest. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned them before. They're fire jets, but I want to make an encased fire jet so I can uh, activate by redstone. But we need encased tower wood, which you need tower wood, which needs dark wood. So I want to go to the Twilight Forest and find some dark wood. I think I showed you this. This is the little uh, mushroom hut we made. And, uh, apparently I never explored below that, but I think even that might be tower wood, so let's, uh, just look around and check for that. Yay! Well, uh, we have no source of twilight oak, but I still can't find tower wood. It might actually be used for a boss tower or something, come to think of it. So, this might take a little more doing than originally expected. Hmm. How about this? Is this great wood? Foundcraft. That's one of those spooky dark forests. Oh, but there's a boss up here. Huh. Is that tower wood? It might be tower wood. Yep, we found tower wood. I wonder what boss that is. Okay, I think I already got enough tower wood, but I'm just going to get a bit more, and then I'll go see if the boss is still there. I'm pretty sure it's the Yurgast. I had a run-in with that in Demo-8, if you saw that. So, uh, yeah. I didn't get to kill it there, but I will kill it this time. And considering this might be new chunks, uh, yeah as a decent chance of being here unless someone else beat me to it. Oh look, a charm of keeping. But considering this tower wasn't looted, I have an odd feeling that I might be the first one here. Is that a ghast of a ghast hat? Or a giant foam finger, hand hat, lovey glove, whatever. I remember purple hat in the first episode. And that's the air ghast spawner, I believe, so uh, let's see how this goes. This isn't very hard when you can fly and shoot it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's doing that crying thing I saw it done before. I just had my particles down because of, uh, you know, blaze form. So, uh, let's just ignore that and spam arrows at its face. I should charge him. <laughs> and... Oh, I think here's his drops. It spawned the chest. Your gas trophy, your gas blood, and... Carbonite. Okay, what does this do? Vanishing block, reappearing block. Oh, those could be fun. And uh, the fiery blood makes fiery ingots, which makes the fiery armor. Okay, so we did conquer one boss and got a trophy. Woohoo. Purple will love this first trophy room. And we also got the tower wood we needed. So, uh, yeah, let's head back and install that fire jet. Okay, I think we only need one encased fire jet, so I'm just going to take one for now. And to the top of the volcano. Is it still raining? Oh, good, it stopped raining, so I can turn into a fire bat and get this done. Woohoo. Okay, I'm not sure if I've ever covered this before, but those are Railcraft smokers there, and I did already prepare a little, huh. Yeah, put a sign there, and here's the redstone room, as I like to call it. Okay, what I want to do, though, hmm, how do I do this? I need a timer going into the fire jet, so I put a timer right there. Apparently I put it there, it placed anyway, um, hmm. Hold on, let me get some more building blocks. Okay, I got a ticker going there. And, uh, let's see how this works. Made a portal so I can go outside. Eh, I wish it was going up a bit higher, but overall I think that's working pretty well. Let me just see if I can adjust it a bit. I'm probably going to flood it with lava though, so uh, yeah, fun fun. Okay, it's just, I'd have to put it up one more, which means 
No, I could actually put it here and put it there. Okay, I guess that's what we're gonna do now. I think I just love it, my portal. Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't even know lava would kill a portal. Okay. But now that I did that, I just break this and put this here, and it should work fine. Okay, that should have improved it a bit. There we go. That's what I wanted it to do. So, as you see, we have it on a timer and it'll automatically do that. Well, I think that's one uh, epic volcano now. With the uh, railcraft smokers and a fire jet all working, I think we did a good job with this volcano. And I'm happy to call it here for the volcano's construction, because we won't be doing any more the lower rooms at this point. Or probably won't. We'll see. I can't make any promises. Purple may want to do some stuff. But overall, I'm not really planning to do more. And, uh... Yeah, the Urgas trophy there. We got the smoker. I showed you the new base. So I think I'm going to call this episode here. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I know we didn't really do a lot of stuff. And it was a bit more or less recap with a boss. But uh, yeah, I think we made a good bit of progress. And uh, despite the fact there are only going to be a few more episodes in this series. Uh, I think it's going to be really cool. Because we're still going to get the promised land and the deep dark. And maybe a few other things I haven't quite figured out yet. Who knows? But hopefully Purple will be able to join me next time when we can do the Promised Land. If not, I'll find something else for us to do. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you will enjoy these last few episodes. And until next time, goodbye.